On the morning of October 10, the Russian armed forces launched massive missile attacks on energy facilities in the eastern, central and western regions of Ukraine. Data from open sources and clarified the list of objects on which fire damage was reliably inflicted. Kyiv, Kyiv CHPP-5, CHPP-6, Darnitska CHPP, Volksilnaya SS-110 kV, Tripolska CHPP. Zhitomir, Substation Zhitomir 330 of a kV. Kamelnytsky, Substation Kamelnytskaya 330 of a kV. Ternopil, Substation Ternopil 330-1135 of a kV. Lviv, Lvovskaya CHPP-1. Substation Lvov Uznaya 330-2210 of a kV. Ivano-Frankivsk, Burshtinska TPP. Sumy, Substation Konotop 330 kV. Poltava, Substation Kramenchug 330-154-35 of a kV. Dnieper-Petrovsk, Pradnipravskaya TPP. Krivoy Rog, Krivoy Rog TPP. Kharkiv, CHPP-5. Zmivskaya TPP, Substation Zalyutino 330-1135 of a kilovolt. What conclusions can be drawn from the results of the strikes? The target of the attack was the main thermal power plants and combined heat and power plants, as well as substations with a voltage level of 330 kilovolts. Not a single blow was delivered to 750 kilovolts voltage facilities, and even more so to nuclear and hydroelectric power plants. This clearly demonstrates that the raid did not pursue the total destruction of the unified energy system, but the infliction of limited damage to it. However, even in this case, the massive missile attack of the RF armed forces left entire regions and million-plus cities without electricity for half a day. It showed the vulnerability of the energy system of Ukraine to the strikes of the Russian armed forces and the inability of the Ukrainian air defense to repel such attacks. The strikes greatly reduced the reliability of the Ukrainian energy system. And with a high probability, it will not survive another such raid, the unified network will fall apart and turn into separate small island areas around power plants. The rest of the country will simply plunge into darkness. If the goal is to overload the energy system of Ukraine for prolonged panic among the population, a drop in the morale of the armed forces of Ukraine and victory on the battlefield, then we should expect Russia to repeat such strikes.